it's almost 3 a.m. and I have actually got one more video to throw out there. One essential tool for uh, our viewers, if you're going to be blogging, is a inverter. And that's when you plug it into a cigarette lighter and you get AC power uh, coming out of it. Now, my computer is old, so I really didn't care about getting a modified sine wave, uh, or a modified, yeah, modified sine wave inverter. Um, and what a modified sine wave, uh, actually here, I'll just draw it out as I'm explaining it. Uh, the purpose of a uh, purpose of a sine wave is to just you know it's AC current, so it's it's alternating, it's going back and forth, and with DC, uh, just your battery. Uh, I cannot get this pen to work. Come on, there we go. Um, and the purpose of DC is just direct current. There's no uh, there's no going back and forth. Um, and it's just uh, it's pretty much like that. And then I'm going to draw the pure side wave. Now, you can get these. You can get a pure side wave inverter. And you can also get a modified sine wave um, inverter. And um, an inverter is just basically something that takes battery power and turns it into alternating current. If I haven't said, it's almost 3 a.m., so I'm probably repeating myself just a little bit. I'm probably repeating myself just a little bit. All right, so when you go to Walmart and you buy a modified sine wave, it looks all square. Now, you'll notice that a pure sine wave, like the power coming out of your electrical outlet, is pure. It's a pure sine wave. It's going like this. Now, um, it's kind of hard to put this in in words because your electronics will react differently. Your charger for your charger for your laptop. It's best to run on a pure sine wave. Otherwise, it's going to shock the system as as the modified sine wave is constantly, the voltage is going up suddenly, and then the voltage is going even, and then the voltage is dropping down suddenly, and then it's going across, rather than like a pure sine wave, it's going up, and it's going down, and it's going up, and it's, it's massaging the, the whatever... It's a tag, whatever's plugged in. But with the modified sine wave, it's very abrupt. It's just constantly like hitting it with electricity, and it just, uh, it, it really don't want to buy it. Like, uh, like, like I was saying earlier, and, um, my computer is older, and it's on its way out. I, I can tell that it's either gonna crap out soon or, you know, in the late future. Um, so I bought a modified sine wave because I really don't, I just don't think it's going to last for that much longer. So I didn't bother with the pure sine wave. Um, but if you're going to buy a pure sine wave inverter, I think <clears throat> that's going to be a wise investment. <coughs> Coughing Hillary. <coughs> Hacking Hillary. <coughs> so... Um, um, with the um, pure side wave inverter, that's going to be really good for your your iPhone. Sometimes some of them won't even work. When you buy modified side wave inverters, they they won't even work on your iPhone charger or some laptop uh, chargers. Um, and they're really not all that they're really not all that good for any electronics. They're just to like get you to do. A few things and then put it away. It's not really designed for like work. It's just for fun or you know blogging at 2:45 in the morning. And so uh, that's something that's 
you should seriously look into because it's a it's a huge benefit for being in an RV it's a house and you know when you're not running the generator or you're not plugged into the you know you're not plugged into anything you're just out in a parking lot <laughs> uh, an uh, inverter is something a wise investment because uh, you know Walmart's got free Wi-Fi so I got it hooked up to it and my battery was running low so I'm like I need an inverter so I went into Walmart and I bought an inverter and I, I strongly encourage you to go to do that you know it's uh, a investment into your business and it's a wise one so uh, when am I going to bed?